Hello, I'm Bart Stevens. As co-founder of the Special Needs Education and Advocacy Project, a nonprofit providing educational and advocacy services to persons with disabilities, their families, and the community, I'd like to share some very important information with you that could be of great benefit to your loved one, as well as those providing services to them. With advances in medical science and inclusion in everyday life, Persons with special needs are living a normal life expectancy, typically surviving their primary caregivers. This presents a problem as far as who is going to be there to care for them when you are no longer there. Special needs planning plays a key role in their life today as well as in the future. There are four key areas to be addressed in special needs planning. Legal planning includes wills, trusts, guardianship, conservatorship, and trustees all designed to protect your loved one. Government benefits include Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and veterans benefits. Budget and financial planning for the person with special needs designs a monthly budget and then identifies the resources to fund that budget. And finally, lifestyle planning, the most important, which gives a day-to-day -day description of the needs and services required of the person for supervision, care, and security. Remember, when you do your planning, do it based on what your loved one's needs are today. If you don't do a plan, the state has one for you. However, do you want the state to choose the guardians, the trustees and conservators for your loved one, or do you want to have control over who those people will be? Only you know, more than anyone else, the needs of your loved one. So it is imperative on your part to prepare a plan for the person with special needs. Don't be afraid of planning. Be afraid if you don't. Please call us today. Thank you.